The world of political ads was disrupted this week when conservative opposition leader Pierre Polyev released a 15-minute documentary on housing. The video touches on what is a hot-button issue for many Canadians, especially young Canadians who are feeling increasingly crunched by rising rents and sky-high home prices. But what makes the video out of the norm is its length and its format, something we don't usually see in Canadian politics. The video has already been viewed millions of times across all platforms and has digital strategists rethinking how politicians communicate with voters. Joining us now is digital strategist Cole Hogan, principal at Ernst Cliff Strategies. Cole, thank you very much for coming back on Forum Daily. Thanks for having me. So you've worked on some high profile campaigns over the years. What do you make of this video and how it's been received? Well, it's an unprecedented move in Canadian politics. I've been trying to rack my brain for any recent examples of, you know, a political party and their leader taking, you know, a concept, a policy deep dive and doing a 15 minute academic style video about it. Usually for political strategists like myself on the digital side, we would advise against doing something like this and leaning more towards the daily day to day short form content or, you know, 30 second, 15 second ads. Uh, this is a bit of a combo breaker in Canadian politics as it breaks from that mold entirely. Yeah, I mean, ha have we ever seen anything of this length in Canadian politics before? Uh, or is this really the first of its kind? It seems to be the first of its kind in Canadian politics. You know, I've been talking to a lot of people about this video, and the most common reference that I'm getting is Kretchen's Red Book, which was, you know, if you think mm -hmm. this guy is light on policy, here you go. Here's a demonstration of yeah. otherwise. And so how much does the issue of the video play into the success of the documentary? Because obviously housing is one of the biggest issues of the day. It's certainly the biggest issue for young people. How much is that a factor in your view? I think it's a huge factor. Um, I look at all the recent polling that shows the Conservatives being most trusted to govern on a myriad of issues, you know, um, housing being the number two concern, cost of living being the number one concern by measure of a lot of polling. And the fact that they picked housing to do a 15 minute policy academic style deep dive on uh, is probably the right issue to start with here. And you're catching a lot of people that otherwise would be opposed to the conservatives or people that aren't just fans of Pierre Polyev tuning in and watching for the whole 15 minutes, which again is pretty unheard of. Well, and what's been the response from the NDP and the liberals to this? Nothing. We haven't seen anything from the Liberals and the NDP uh, thus far in the same format. And that's the thing. I don't really think we can see Trudeau or Singh doing anything similar. And if so, on what issue? The, the most response we've gotten so far is uh, Christia Freeland, you know, responding to the housing documentary with a link to the fall economic statement, which is, you know, bringing a knife to a gunfight. I, I don't think you're going to be able to catch people with uh, in response to a 50 minute documentary with a link to a page with a bunch of text on it. Um, I really don't see how the liberals and the NDP catch up here, but I think we'll see some form of imitation uh, in the months and possibly in 2024. And, and Minister Freeland's response, correct me if I'm wrong, she did end up deleting that response, is that correct? She deleted the, the first post, which was, you know, drawing some attention and quote tweeting um, the actual video and then, you know, went into the uh, replies and commented, which was kind of a funny tactic to see. I'm not sure who uh, who advised that one, but um, yeah, you have to bring a bit more firepower to the conversation than that. And do you think that the NDP and the Liberals may need to rethink their digital strategy in response to this? Yeah, you know, I look at the last few elections and the liberal digital game has been pretty strong. They haven't been caught flat footed. And there's something to be said for, you know, eight years of governments, people on the team get tired. It's sort of the end of your mandate and innovation mostly comes from the opposition parties who are more willing to try new things and take new risks. Um, I think we'll see less of that from the Liberals as they're sort of in save the furniture mode. Uh, and we'll continue to see more innovative tactics from, from the Conservatives in particular. And real quick, we have about 40 seconds. Former NDP leader Thomas Mulcair called the video just about the best piece of political communication Canadians have ever been treated to. What do you make of that comment? 
you know, I find myself uh, maybe for one of the first times agreeing with Thomas Mulcair. Uh, the, the video has nonstop visual movement. There's audio cues to keep the viewer watching and listening. Um, there's a breadth of content here, and you're given mm -hmm. a lot to chew on for Canadians. The, the question will really be if the Liberals and NDP can catch up to something this high production, because it yeah. shows they're, they're truly serious about governing and they're putting forward policies, you know, to that, to that notion. Thank you very much for your time today.